Hi, this is Billy Bean here with another segment of Truth by Billy Bean. Special report, today's date, October 24, 2022, new. This is my third YouTube channel. I have a subscribe button in the lower right corner of my screen. Thanks for like, subscribe, and share. Episode 449, Nuke in a Plane in Ukraine. Nuke in a Suitcase in the U.S. Nuke Order to Build Z. Some of my sources are God in the Bible, Patriot subscribers, Dr. William Mount, Canadian Prepper, Alexander McCurris, Israeli News Live with Stephen Benoon, Duran, BP Earthwatch Plus. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, now Alexander McCurris, a London-based journalist, is coming out with uh, different intel. It's given us more insight into what's going on. So let's get a map going. Okay, so we've got uh, Ukraine. We've got Russia. We've got those new areas of Russia, formerly uh, in Ukraine, Luhansk, Donetsk, Kherson, Zaporonista. And we've got Makolev here. We've got Kiev, we've got Gospinel, Air Force Base, right here, that's a Ukraine, Air Force Base, we've got to Crimea, we've got Belarus, we've got Poland, we've got Romania, okay, now, uh, Alexander McCurris is coming out with this. Recently, uh, the Minister of Defense of Russia, General Shogu, called his counterparts in the U.S., Britain, Turkey. And Turkey, once they heard all the evidence, I mean, they're now having uh, Russian subs in their waters to protect their pipeline, Turk string. So... Uh, what's coming out is that uh, one of the reasons Ben Wallace made that rush trip to the Pentagon had to do with nukes and nuke material. Because it's coming out that uh, a source of, uh, a possible source of a nuke material may be from Britain. Now, Dr. William Mount is bringing out another source, so I'll get to that. Okay, so Russian intel is that they've picked up chatter that a uh, phone calls that Zelensky, the current uh, head leader of the government in Ukraine, had contacted nuclear scientists inside Ukraine and gave them an order to build a dirty bomb. So that's going on. And... Alexander uh, McCurris is bringing this out. Yeah, but if Ukraine used the dirty bomb, they would lose the support of the West. It isn't the West support that Ukraine has. It's the support of the deep state who's in control of the West. And the deep state could care less who gets hurt with a nuclear bomb. They have certain objectives to achieve destroy the economy and the people of the United States and destroy the economy and the people of Germany and Europe. And they're right on track with it, aren't they? Okay, now uh, Alexander McCurris has this uh, intel that in Kherson, uh, Russia is going to recruit, but I un understood they were already recruiting to put together a militia to provide security and administrative uh, objectives, and they will be part of the Russian military. And that way, the uh, combat professional soldiers of Russia uh, in this area, and we understand the total number now, and this area is 220,000. In Kherson alone, uh, something like, uh, uh, I don't know, six to 9,000. 
Okay, now, uh, Alexander Makuris is hearing this, that uh, some of the troops to be uh, uh, rotated out includes the paratroopers and the Chicken uh, Republic force. And he's bringing this out about the paratroopers uh, that early in the war, that would have been February of 2022, they had an assignment, their light mobile forces, to go into Gospinel to take a plane and also to neutralize a nuke that was in a plane. Now, this information correlates to what came out a few weeks ago from Russell Bentley. He's an expat from Texas, who's now a U Ukrainian, now Russian citizen, who spoke about that same thing happening in Gospinel early in the war. So, this information coming out from Alexander Makaras is corroborating the information that came out from Russell Bentley a few weeks ago. So early on, Russia knew that there were nukes inside uh, Ukraine and one was in a plane in this Air Force base located close to Kiev. So that's going on. Now, Alexander Makaris is bringing this out. In this area, there's, and further down, there's a, there's a dam and a bridge. Karhova Dam. And uh, uh, there's a bridge also that's being uh, bombed. And it's believed that the uh, attempt to bomb the Karhova Dam in this area, and also up here, would be to flood Kursan, cut off the drinking water to Crimea, but cut off the coolant for the Zeporonista, a nuclear power plant. Now, apparently inside Ukraine, the U.S. government has withheld strong concrete penetrating bombs and Ukraine is not able to uh, take down the dam uh, with the weapons they currently have inside the U.S. So it's believed that they're trying to put together a dirty nuke and put it in this area, Mykolaiv, have it detonate, then take out the dam, and then uh, release the nuclear material and cut off the cooling, to the Zaporonista nuclear power plant and then have that uh, go uh, active and release all of that radiation. So that's believed to be the plan. Now, Alexander McCurris is bringing this out, that Russia, for the dam, they're releasing water. And Alexander uh, speculates that maybe it's to uh, raise the water level for the pontoon uh, bridges they currently have going and need to move troops from the east side to the west side of the Dnepr River. So that's going on. Now, we have this. Yeah. And Duran, which is um, Alexander McCurris and Alex Cristoforo. Okay, the deep state want to use a dirty nuke and the NATO design, yeah, to draw in the West. But no, that's, that's not going to happen. Now, they're spec bringing forth that hundreds of thousands of Russian troops are coming in to Ukraine. And they're going to take out the Ukraine infrastructure. Okay. And the prospect of using a dirty nuke at Makolev and blow the dam and then 
have it affect the Zeporonista nuclear power plant. That's going on. Now, Dr. William Mount is bringing this out. That China is the only nation besides the U.S. that has one missing nuke. And the U.S. has 40. And Dr. William Mount says that recently, uh, the and it's the NSA and the FBI who build what's called suitcase nukes. And this is in the world, according to Dr. William Mount. They build the suitcase nukes. And recently, he's saying they, there was a flight. Uh, he's implying FBI. And there was a plane. And it had on it 24 baseball size nukes which could then, uh, you know, be put in, into a small container like a, a suitcase called a suitcase nuke where, where you would put it in your suitcase and then put a lot of stuffing around it, but it, you would still, and I guess you could wire it. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. Uh, in the movie uh, Some of All Fears, they had a nuke that came in from Ukraine on a ship. It was in a cigarette machine and went to... Uh, a stadium in Baltimore and then blew up and it was on the level where um, it's uh, of the camel cigarettes and then the wiring went there and I've been hearing the camels are coming so just saying all right now we have this 24 baseball nukes now Dr. William Mount is saying they sat down in a plane and it was so fast that the Russians couldn't come in and secure it because there were 24 trucks or individuals or something and it immediately went out in 24 directions. Dr. William Mount did not say where the plane landed, but he is putting forth that there is n uh, nuclear baseball size material available in the Ukraine area that Ukraine could be using in uh, their suitcase nuke or their small nuke. So that's, that's coming out. So, uh, and he's also bringing out the, Dr. William Mount, the head of DOJ, Merrick Garland. I've done a previous video on him. And FBI, Chris Ray, and I'll be getting into that in a future video. What about that shootout at the FBI in the last few weeks? What happened there? So, now, Dr. William Mount is bringing this out also, that uh, the NSA, the FBI, have placed a baseball-sized dirty nuke inside a U.S. city, and that would be Chicago. So, we need to... Have everything out on the table so we know what to pray about and against. And to recall that God is in charge. He is on the move and he sent down his seraphim angels to help us battle against all this evil. I love you and I'll see you soon.